All right, this is an update on the uh, John Bedini uh, hydrate crystal cells. And uh, the two that I made, the test cell and also the uh, enclosed cell, are still working. And uh, I've got this running a pulse motor now. And it's a combination thing. I've got a solar cell on that thing that uh, I found out today when there's enough ambient light, it will help the crystal cell. If there's more than adequate light, it actually puts energy back into the crystal cell. And I'm investigating whether that truly is recharging that thing or not. But I'm going to let it run this uh, pulse motor for a while and see what happens uh, with the solar cell and see how they work together. Um, normally during the day this runs and then at night of course it stops. But with the crystal cell, <coughs> I'm wondering now if this will just keep right on going. So we'll just have to take a look at it and see. And this is the little uh, rocking uh, motor that's running on that <coughs> test cell. That's the John Bedini test cell that I tried before I built this one here. So anyway, that's where I'm at today. I'm just uh, giving an update on these uh, John Bedini hydrate cells, crystal, hydrate crystal cells. And uh, so far everything seems to be working exactly like he said it would. Uh, they're kind of hard to make, but uh, I do recommend uh, taking the time and the little bit of money it takes to build one of these and building it. If you can't, you can actually buy them from him. Thanks for watching.